Welcome to Wednesday's edition of Sunday League to Legend here on Football Manager 21. I'm Charlie and I've taken Leyland Albion all the way to the Velocity Trophy final held at Butlin Road, the home of rugby, which is a football team. We take on Tunbridge Angels managed by Mike Sandham and I feel a bit like a sellout at the moment. Not only because we're playing at a neutral ground, and Darren Swan's comment has tickled me something pink. Uh, the problem with neutral venues is that both sets of fans need to use transportation to the ground, leading to traffic. Journey was a nightmare. Oh, thank you for that, Darren. You know, nothing about, you know, the team or getting behind the boys, eh? Unbelievable. As I was saying, I have sold out a little bit. I've played pretty much our best team which I've never done in the Cup so far this season apart from that game against Stockport County in the FA Cup first round I don't want to lose to Tunbridge who are playing a 4-3-3 nobody plays a 4-3-3 in non-league football uh, as you can see I was just leading the team out there alongside my uh, opposite number yeah it's, oh, I feel bad well, I don't feel that bad because Lambton remains in goal. Uh, he stays, he continues, and I've st I'm still playing uh, Salmon up front uh, alongside that man, Connor Coma, and that's why he's in the team. Four minutes on the clock, and he's got a goal with Salmon on the assist. That's the reason why. <laughs> I don't think I need to say any more, really. Um, okay, good save from out of nowhere. But then Connor Coma, the quick on the draw, fastest to react. And there you have it. Uh, in the fifth minute, uh, the Albion take the lead. But uh, it could be Tunbridge coming back here. No, it's not. It's Coma on the attack. Good through ball to uh, Salmon. And his strike. Ah, it's just wide, isn't it? So, um, should give you a bit of history here. Uh, Tunbridge play in the pitching in Istmian Premier, which is the same level as ourselves. Uh, there's about four different leagues, uh, all at the same uh, sort of line. Uh, they are 16th, so they're not doing as well as us, as we are unbeaten in league competition this season. We have played them twice this year already, both in cup competitions. We beat them 4-0 in the FA Trophy fourth round, and we overcame them in the FA Cup third round qualifying stage. Um, so we are sort of quite familiar with them already. In terms of the journey to get here, Tunbridge uh, went through Hastings, Greys, East Grimstead, Leatherhead and East Thurrock in the semi-final. Ourselves, we had to actually qualify. Uh, there was a qualifying round. We beat Hullbridge to get uh, into the competition proper, where we've seen off the likes of Margate, Northwood, Rugby, uh, whose ground we are at uh, here today. Bishop Stortford in the quarter-final, and then Romford in the semis. Just going to see Tunbridge's attack, how this pans out. A good save by Lambton. So Declan Lambton is our backup goalkeeper. We've played him quite a lot in the Cups, uh, it has to be said, uh, although he did sort of a bit of a Superman dive at that one. Didn't get anywhere near it, which is a bit of a concern. The Albion team, uh, as we've said, Lambton in goal. We've got Alex Bradley at right back, Ashman and Langley in central defence, Kitching is at left back, then midfield Walker on the right, Tom Dawson is on the left, he's a bit of a, a sort of, a, what's one of those tools that you can uh, that can do pretty much anything, oh unbelievable, Declan Bacon has scored, I knew it, uh, but we've got Dan Bradley central midfield, Pallet alongside him, and then Coma and Salmon up front. Uh, yeah, sorry, Tom Dawson. Sorry, that got away from me there, and it's because of Bacon streaking through. Uh, Dawson can pretty much play right across the midfield. Uh, he's best on the wings and up front, but he could probably do a job central midfield, to be honest. Uh, so he's a good player to have around. Really uh, positive influence. Always happy to, to be part of the squad. You don't really hear a lot of whinging from him when he's left out. Uh, so he's uh, been with us since the end of the first season when we were at level 10. Uh, he came from, I believe, the Hulker Old Boys, 
uh, along with a couple of other players, but he was the one uh, that we did want because he was knocking the goals for them left, right and centre. No changes at half-time. A Swiss army knife. That's what he is. Sorry, it's just come to me. I don't like not winning. <laughs> it's hardly happened this season. We've gone unbeaten in the league. And we haven't lost, obviously, in the Velocity Trophy. In fact, that's a good goal as well. Declan Bacon again. Has anybody closed him down? Anybody anywhere near him? He's been marked... Oh, what? Is that Ashman? Yeah. Right. Ashman's coming off. If you're not going to do your job properly, you're off. Right. You had him. You had him there in your sights. And you let him go. Aaron Morris won't do that. That was oh, unacceptable. Right. And in fact, we're going to... Uh, we're going to mark a specific player. Here, I want you to mark Bacon. Honestly. These t this oh. We're not even doing anything. Oh, and now you want to close him down. James Dodd, I give you one job to do, and you've let us down. You've let us down badly there, James Dodd, who is actually uh, the name of a real-life journalist in Australia. Thank God that didn't go in. Right. Ten shots we've had. Two on target. That's unbelievable. Connor Coma. I mean, what has Salmon done? Oh, brilliant. Yeah, there you go. Now he's decided this is the time. Uh, Salmon is coming off. Matt Chris, you're on. Sort this out. And do you know what? I'm demanding more. No messing about anymore. Lads. Uh, in fact, I'm going to up the mentality as well. Very attacking. Let's go and get this game back. We've got just over 20 minutes to go. Pallet off Finlayson. Fine. Get him on. Nothing happening. No highlights. Come on, Langley. Former AFC Files captain. Is he our captain? I think he's our captain this year as well. Here we go. Two Bradleys combining. Come on, Bradders. Big ball over the top. Oh, it's cut out though, isn't it? Langley now forward. Steps up. Walker. Alex Bradley, the Finn. Oh, it's just over the bar by Connor Coma. Expect better in that situation. 16 shots and only two on target. Now Walker's going to play this in. Let's recycle possession. Win it back. Win it back. There's Coma. Oh, side netting. But we are cranking up the pressure. The only thing is, we're going to leave gaps at the back when we do it. Kitchen with the cross and Macris is there. 25th of the season. We have equalised. It's 2-2. It's a Desmond here at Butlin Park Road, whatever it is. I'm flustered. Head's gone. Good play by Macris. May have been a mistake to leave him out of the starting lineup. Yeah, all right. I'll take that one. But 19 shots now, four on target. Look at our opponents. Eight shots. But I'll tell you what, five on target for Tunbridge. Uh, they're doing pretty well there, aren't they? An XG of 2.43 places, 0.99. Right, we've got a few minutes left until the end of the game. I do not want extra time, boys. No extra time. Let's go. Come on. Perkins in no hurry to take the throw. They want extra time. Ooh. I don't agree with that. Yeah, it's extra time, isn't it? Right, lads. Uh, Morris picks up a booking. Well, yes, I may well shout from the touchline. Our XG was far greater. Keep performing. Ah, plenty of green. There we go. That's what you want. Now, I'm not going to touch the shouts at the start of the second, uh, start of extra time. I'm going to leave that for a moment until we actually need it. Uh, are we on? Yeah, we're still on, aren't we? Right, let's drop back to attacking at the moment. What I don't want is penalties, because we won't win that one. Uh, Lampton, I mean, he's a backup for a reason, you know. 
And in that case, well, at least we've got some decent penalty takers. I mean, Finlayson, Dawson, Coma, Macris and Walker should all be able to take a decent penalty. Even if they're on the last legs. Yeah, it's half time and extra time. Absolutely nothing happening here. Perhaps we could see a highlight. That would be nice for us. Before the game misconstrues that. Yeah, Walker now. He's got the ball. Alex Bradley. Oh, that's a bit aimless, isn't it? But it's going to come out to Dawson on the left. Matt Chris now. Fires it across. Oh, Coma's effort was blocked. And it's going to be recycled by Alex Bradley in the right back position. The young, uh, well, I think he's about 25. Finish lad. Uh, I'm not going to change anything else just because I want to keep those five players on the pitch that I think can take a decent penalty. The only change I might make, oh, this is a bit of a, a bit of a gamble. I'm going to bring on our top goalkeeper. What? Why can I not make one in extra time? That's a disgrace, that is. This game, if I lose this game, that's why. What? You always get an additional one. Oh, this game. Why would you do this to me? Right, who else can take a penalty? Dan Bradley's up there. Why can't Constacos Macris take one? Yes, you are doing. Uh, then it's good Dawson, then it's Walker. Apparently Alex Bradley's not too bad, right, so he's our seventh, followed by Kitchen, yeah. Right, we're going to pick eight to start with. Be decisive, yeah, that's what I'm telling him. Bacon to shoot first, he's going to take Tunbridge's, and it's a goal for Tunbridge. Conacoma steps up, he doesn't miss, does he? No, he does not miss either. Hatton now, surely a relative of Ricky perhaps? Goes straight down the middle and it beats Lampton, worryingly. Finlayson now. Now he beats the goalkeeper as well. It's 2 2 and it's Lewis next up. And it's saved. Lampton saved it. Didn't get a great camera angle of that, but great. Dan Bradley. Good strike, son. Bradders there. Slams the ball home. Taylor. Miss Taylor. Miss. Miss. Uh, straight down the middle. Good pow powerful penalty. Good one. Constacos and Macris now. Came on to good effect and goes straight down the middle, beating the goalkeeper for pace. Nearly took the net clean off with that, the commentary says. And now it's up to Johnson. He does not want to be a, uh, anything less than a dead-eyed dick here, does he? And he rolls it in. Nice penalty, actually. Waited for the goalkeeper to go. And now it's all on Tom Dawson. We heard he was a Swiss Army knife. Can the Swiss Army knife win us the cup? Yes, he can. Leyland Albion add another trophy to the cabinet. Uh, the referees there providing... I'm sure that should be the photographers stuck behind that stamp. But anyway, be that as it may, we have won the Velocity Trophy. And we have collected another prize. Here we go, lads. Ready? Yeah. Hand it over. And it's raised. Okay, there we go. There we go. This has not been a great episode. I don't know why. I think it's because I was expecting to win handsomely here by playing our best team. Uh, oh, lovely shot at the top of the stand. Yeah. Thank you, football manager. Oh, I can't even see anything now. <laughs> Unbelievable. There we go. Yeah. Right, there I am in the middle, accepting the adulation of... No. Well, okay. So we won on penalties following a Desmond. And I'm just going to congratulate the boys here. Uh, ooh. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, well done. I mean, I don't believe it, you know. To be quite honest, they should have put Tunbridge well out of sight. We beat them 4-0 earlier in the season. This is practically our best side. Aside from the goalkeeper, admittedly, Lewis Stalin starting up front was a mistake. Um, and maybe I'm Raj Pallet, the young midfielder. I'm, I might have put somebody a bit more experienced in there. 
I would have played Ben Toja at the back instead of Ashman, um, who of course we brought off because he couldn't track Bacon. Um, that would have been Ben Toja, but he's not fit at the minute to start, and thus uh, I, I couldn't select him really. Um, I think he even appeared on the little uh, notice to say, do not play this player. So, couldn't really do anything there. But other than that, I mean, our best side. You know, Finlayson coming on the pitch as well. It was only the uh, Daniel and Ted Can that we didn't use. Why there wasn't a fourth substitute during extra time is an absolute joke. I'm going to I'm gonna check this. I've never actually re researched what the Velocity Trophy is, um, I should admit, at this stage. But I am going to research it. I'm going to see who... Uh, who were the reigning champions of it. But I should have been able to bring on Ted Cam. I had a, a substitution in hand. In every competition in the world, you are allowed an additional substitute in extra time now. I'm fairly certain. So why was I not allowed one? All of a sudden, Football Manager started biting back at me. I may have said, in a couple of other videos, earlier in the last few months, that it was getting easy. Right? And it is. Right? Let's let's get that on record. Leyland Albion have gone from level 10 to, well, the top of level 6. And I've hardly lost a game. And I haven't cheated. I haven't brought in any players that you wouldn't, that weren't offered to me. If they weren't on the scouting report, I haven't even gone anywhere near them. We've either played them, or they've put themselves forward. Those are the ways. Or a staff member's uh, recommended them. Uh, which I think that's where the AFC Files comes in. I must have signed somebody um, who used to be at Files. So the likes of Dan Bradley, along with James Stanley, Jack Byrne, all got suggested. All fair game. Nothing has been, there's no cheats. The tactics are just pretty standard, really. It's a 4 4 2. I mean, what else can you do, really? Um, there's not very much. So as we await the media reaction, which seems to be massive, I mean, as well it should be, following another trophy. So that will be six in four seasons now, if I get my maths right. There will be another one by the end of the year. We'll get to the end of the season, sorry. Um, always got to make sure I get the years and calendar of the years sorted. That will be seven by the time we finish this league season. Uh, and thus, um, we are on course to be one of the uh, the top teams in the game. I wonder if uh, that lad who didn't uh, like the travelling has uh, been back on. He's not. Yeah, he's probably stuck on the car park, isn't he? Oh, well. Unbelievable. Uh, but, yeah, here we have it. Uh, Leon Albin win the Velocity Trophy. So the previous winners. Ah, here we are. So Braintree, Wingate and Finchley. Sounds like a law firm, doesn't it? And it's Luz. Oh, I do like Luz FC uh, in 2020-2021. So there you have it. Key player, Declan Bacon. Oh, he did get two goals, to be fair. Uh, yeah, and there, as you can see, that was the uh, the path that we took against the likes of uh, Rugby and Northwood. Hullbridge. Uh, we did knock Darlington out of the FA Trophy. Not this competition. Don't know why it's mentioned. But there we have it, Leyland Albion, our Velocity Trophy champions. And that is certainly something that we can all celebrate. Uh, we'll just have a quick look at the old penalties. Yeah, it was Lewis there with the decisive kick. Uh, unfortunately, not able uh, to score his effort. While all of us, all five, went in. We even had Harry Walker in reserve ready to uh, come on. Be that as it may... We are Velocity Trophy champions. We are the Albion. And the next time we are on YouTube, hopefully it's towards the end of the season. That's what I'm, I'm aiming for. Uh, level 6, it's not brilliant, to be honest. And there aren't any... Because the way that Albion have been placed in the league structure means I'm not playing local sides. And that was the whole point of this, is that I would be playing against teams you know, like we had Squires Gate and things like that. I, I wanted those types of players, Longridge Town, Longridge, uh, sorry, clubs, Longridge Town, and that sort of thing. But because I've been placed in the southern uh, part of the uh, pitching in Isthmian setup, 
It just means, you know, I'm playing the likes of Truro and Poole. I don't care about Truro and Poole. I care about local sides up here in Lancashire. That was the point. Let's get us through. You know, eventually, of course, that was always going to come where we we're going to play teams from across the country. We were always going to get to the stage where we're in the Vanarama National. You know, but up until then, I really wanted to play these, uh, you know, games against sides around here, but it hasn't been. And that sort of put me off the save a little bit. It's left me feeling a bit like, a bit down about it. And a bit like I just want to get through it to the point when we can get to the league then, in that, in that case. You know, if I'm not going to be able to enjoy playing against the local sides, um, let's just get to, to the Football League and play against some recognisable names and also get professional status so that we can start paying some players instead of just signing on a massive bonuses. Uh, I think Connor Combe was on about 450 quid a game uh, as a bonus. You know, I'd love to convert that into an actual wage uh, and see uh, what he actually wants per week. But as it stands, we're down as a semi-professional outfit and I don't think we're in a position to improve on that yet. So thank you for joining me today. The next time I am on YouTube will be for the Mariners Massive Save, uh, which comes on a Thursday. Then we've got the A-League FM21 Rundown. That's every Sunday. And then Sunday League to Legend is back on Monday. I'll see you then.